My regrets look just like texts I shouldn't send And I got neighbors that more like strangers we could We will beat the coronavirus and we will beat it together And therefore I urge you at this moment of national emergency to stay at home protect our NHS and save lives Thank you In my own way this feel like living Looking around, it's clear. Many shops did not survive. Businesses closed, unemployment soaring. The famous Doncaster Market is a shadow of its former self. Doncaster is on the verge of feeling like a ghost town. How has all of this impacted local business owners and traders? Did they really receive adequate support from the government? And how will they deal with the second wave of lockdown? Well, it's uh, not given us a chance to have a half decent living, to be honest. The footfalls down in the town has made things really difficult for us. Um, you know, we're just not getting the numbers in to survive. We, we have a cheap shop and we're just not getting getting a footfall to make it work. You know what, uh, not really affected us, you know. In fact, to be honest, the first lockdown, we were that busy, it were unbelievable. Well, business is, uh, I mean, before February, the footfall was really good on the high street, but uh, since we've opened up, uh, the footfall's about 40% down on last year figures, October figures. Obviously, you know, a lot of people haven't got the money at the moment because of the furlong scheme, you know, people going back to work and everything, there's not much money about and uh, as you can see the high street outside today, it's empty. Business wise, we were all geared up for home delivery anyway. Yeah. So we were like a step ahead of all the other traders really. Um, so when you first got locked down in March, we were doing maybe 60, 70 orders a week on delivery. We shot up to 1,500 in the first two weeks. So business-wise, it were, we were fine. You know what I mean? We had to shut, we had to shut the store for a couple of weeks, and then uh, we slowly got on top of it. But it's, it hasn't been, we haven't been too bad for you, to be honest. Yeah, I think the government, I personally think the government have been brilliant. I think they've done, they've been really, really good. Um, I, I, think it, I think it's a shame really, because obviously one glove doesn't fit all. So the government have helped out the majority of small businesses, but there's a lot of people that obviously have been left behind, but you can't, I don't think you can account for everybody. The government at first, they seemed to help, help us. You know, they gave us the, uh, the rebate on, on the rates for the year and, and helped us with their lump sum. Uh, government back loans. They did okay at first, but now we we really need more help because we're really struggling at this moment, and that's that's the reason why we were in this mess. Up, to be honest. <laughs> It's just uh, basically it's, it's just a complete fuck about I think because it hasn't affected me at all. I haven't had no time off since March to work for emergency services, so I'm not allowed to time off. But I, I think they need to make their mind up on the rules and, and explain them because nobody nobody seems to know what is happening and what's going on. I, th I think we all need a bit. Local small independent businesses need more help um, from the government. We, we we need to be able to. I mean, it's too late for me now. Um, you know, my business is, is 
come to an end. But we needed them to step step in a bit more uh, with a bit more financial support. Um, the money we did get from the government, it just took too long to reach us, um, reach the bank accounts. And we was always fighting with the council to try and speed things up. And it just took too long. Uh, so it was too little too late, to be honest. Boris Johnson has had the shit end of the stick twice. He just got <laughs> Brexit. Yeah, grasped that bit. Yeah, brought that one out of the way. And then Corona did him. Bush, there's no win. No win situation. I'll, I'll be honest with you, you know, I'll be honest with you. A lot of people, you know, because we're high street, you see people coming up and down, Boris Johnson's done this, Boris Johnson's done, Johnson's done this. Any prime minister, any president, at what is going on with the coronavirus, they're all going to make decisions. If you don't make a decision, lockdown, people think you don't care or it's too late. If you make a decision, people are not happy. So Boris Johnson is doing a good job, but it's one of them things. You know, no matter what you do, you're going to be in the wrong. It's a tough time, tough time across the world. You know what, I think they've done well. I think they've helped people. You know, otherwise, if it, if it had been a different party, I reckon they wouldn't have helped us out as much as they have. We'll probably pay for it in the long run. But at the minute, they're helping us out. None at all, no, to be honest. It's 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 really made us, you know, lose everything to be yeah. honest. And um, it's different it's strange with town centre, you know. In local community where you live, that are they are, you know, everyone talks to each other now, don't they? You know what? Positive, I don't know, people have got closer, you know. I don't know, there's, there's no positive, is there, really? Yeah. People are afraid. People are afraid, especially the old people, they're really afraid. I woke up in the morning, went off for a lovely walk, I did yoga for an hour every day, which I, I wanted to start doing and I never did. And you just had time for things, you know, just even sitting up for the dinner at dinner time, you know, just eating nice, simple food, using everything up in the fridge, you know. I, I don't know, they were just, I think it has really made people think a bit more clearly about what is important in life. Cause I